I'm going to show you a really nice book called Tales of Remarkable Birds, written by Dominic Cousins, published by Bloomsbury in 2015. Let's take a look at the table of contents. We see that it's divided into different regions of the planet. It starts with Europe, then Africa, Asia, Australasia, North America, South America, Antarctica, and islands. The book itself is comprised of short chapters on species, or sometimes families of species. Almost every second page has a sharp, colorful picture of a beautiful bird. Look, it's common crossbill. Hey, I haven't seen this bird. Are you sure it's common? Now let's take a look at one entry and I'll read a short excerpt from that entry. What bird did I choose? Why, it's the varied citella. The varied citella is in the family Neocytidae, and is only one of three birds in that family, and is the only citella that lives in Australia. Okay, let's actually read this book. Birds of a feather flock together. It's a well-known proverb, and an indication as to how people often perceive birds as social creatures routinely gathering together in large numbers. There is an implication of benevolence in the proverb, and it is often used as an idiom alluding to genial social behavior among people. As most enthusiasts know, bird flocks are really a double-edged sword, full of rivalry and disputes. In the majority of flocks, especially those that persist over a long period of time, a clear hierarchy develops in which certain birds are dominant over others, for feeding sites, nest sites, and roost sites. Stepping out of the line at best produces a sharp physical response from a dominant bird, often in the form of a supplanting attack, when one bird displaces another physically from a perch. At worst, birds can be killed. This sometimes happens in flocks of ruddy turnstones, when individuals feeding in unauthorized locations are physically attacked. The rest of the entry will talk about the interesting social behavior of the varied citella, and to find this out, you'll have to get the book for yourself. Hey, look what I found. White-throated sparrow. I just saw this bird yesterday. Look at that beautiful bird. If you want to see more, you should get this book. It's a nice collection of relaxing stories on many beautiful birds.